Hello my fellow connoisseurs. In today's video, I'm going to share thoughts on the homemaker's presentation. How you present yourself at home. Welcome back to The Daily Connoisseur. My name is Jennifer and I am a wife, mother of four, a writer, and yes, a homemaker. In this series, I like to explore the life of a homemaker as it can be complicated, complex, hidden, and deeply important. In today's video, I'm going to discuss a homemaker's presentation. Presentation, how we present ourselves. A secret I learned while living in Paris that I've never been able to shake is that we should look presentable always. Not look perfect or expensive, but presentable. And yes, this even applies at home. In fact, I would suggest that it is even more important to look presentable at home than out in public. Why? Because how we live at home is indicative of how we truly are. Now, a common dilemma that homemakers face is, what if I get dressed, do my hair, and maybe even my makeup, and then I just ruin everything with a long day of cooking, cleaning, and parenting? After posing this question, many homemakers decide to dress for drudgery. Yes, drudgery. They expect that the outfit will be stained, that the hair and makeup will go unnoticed, so they dress in old, tired clothing such as sweatpants to get through the day. Well, I'm here to encourage you. You don't need to dress for drudgery. If you do so, you are setting yourself up for a life sentence of wearing drab, stainable clothing because every day is filled with chores, cleaning, and cooking. Meanwhile, your true style is being stifled and your creative expression through dress is gone. A question I posed to myself when I became a parent was this. How do I want my children to visually remember me? Of course I want them to remember me for my inner qualities, and those are likely the first that will come to mind. But your family will also remember you visually as well. I want my children to be well-adjusted adults, and so I must look the part too. And a final thought. If we save our best clothing and appearance for that one rare day in the future where we don't have any housework to do, it's the equivalent of beautiful china teacups that you never use, that just collect dust on a shelf. What's the worst thing that could happen? We stain our clothing. Well, if you can't get the stain out, at least you went out with a bang. Looking presentable comes in many different forms. Our style is varied and unique, as diverse as we are. I am inspired by remarkable women who express their true style with a joy of life on a daily basis.
So my fellow homemakers, I want you to know that no matter who you are or where you're from, you're beautiful. Your work is important and you matter deeply. I hope this video inspires you to adorn yourself beautifully and to dress for joy every day. Thanks for joining me, friends. I'll see you next time. Goodbye.